iNews Views, March 2nd. Stark differences between the lights of North and South Korea in satellite photos were first shown in 2002 in a Pentagon briefing. But the latest views from NASA in 2014 reveal the North is still cloaked in darkness. Per capita power consumption in the two countries is vastly different. 10,162 kilowatt hours for the South and 739 kilowatt hours for the North. The contrast between the bright lights in South Korea and the few dim spots in North Korea is a good indicator of the relative affluence of the neighbors' economies. Korea ranks first in Bloomberg's Global Innovation Index, up from second place last year. The U.S., last year's leader, dropped to third after Sweden. Categories used to establish the rankings include R&D intensity, high-tech density, manufacturing capability, tertiary efficiency, patent activity, and researcher concentration. Catastrophic solar storms are inevitable, but the exact consequences are uncertain. In the 19th century, a solar eruption at midnight in the U.S. knocked out telegraph systems in North America and Europe and was so bright, people thought it was daytime. Possible scenarios for the next storm include extended blackouts affecting millions of people with damage amounting to trillions of dollars. Airlines are prepared for such an event, but other businesses that rely heavily on the Internet and power grid are vulnerable. Scientists estimate that a geomagnetic disturbance occurs every 150 years. It's been 155 years since the last really big one in 1859. China is now the world's largest manufacturer and second largest economy, but these advances have come at a cost. These days, the air pollution in major Chinese cities is so severe that schools are closed and airplanes are grounded. Acid rain is common, and much of the country's water supply was ranked poor or very poor in a 2012 government report. China is about to embark on a green cycle that will cost over $500 billion dollars, and add up to 5% to manufacturing companies' operational costs. New companies will be founded to comply with the stricter regulations, so unemployment rates should drop. China's ambitious goals to reduce pollution will be difficult to enforce, but it's the only way for air quality in the region to improve. Incheon International Airport has been named the world's best airport for the ninth consecutive year. Gimpo International Airport ranked highest among all medium-sized airports for the fourth consecutive year. NASA's Kepler mission has discovered a veritable bonanza of new planets. The latest verification of 715 planets brings the total of known planets outside the Milky Way to 1,700. These smaller planets are more akin to Earth than previously identified exoplanets.